What is up guys, we are live here at Pro Play Games and we have the Naruto Shippuden and the Naruto Boruto expansions for the brand new Chrono Clash system. We're gonna open these up for you guys. A lot of cool things. These are the special editions that actually bring tournament packs. We're gonna see what we pull. Obviously each one of these bring the same amount of uh, cards. There's 96 unique cards total, but then the packs, we're gonna be able to pull any one of those 96 cards in full art foil and these are going to be exclusive the only other way to get these is going to be playing in official tournaments at your local game store or at our pro play tour in richmond july 13th and 14th so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so this is it this is baruto and naruto this is the expansion number two as you can tell right here nbo2 so there's two different expansions like i showed at the beginning this is one of them this one brings two ready to full play decks so you get uh over 100 cards i believe because each deck is 50 cards plus i believe there's like an eight card side deck and then you get these two tournament packs right here which the only way to get these is to actually buy the product uh and, and you get two per product that you open and in tournaments so you can only get them in the official uh local game store tournaments make sure you contact your lgs if they're interested in um you know hosting tournaments and buying the tournament kits those bring a bunch for players you get participation packs and then you'll get some for top cut as well and then you get your ex deck here so you get uh enough cards i believe for two ex decks i would assume so you would get 12 ex cards 100 plus cards that covers two main decks and two side decks and you get two tournament packs which will come with the full art versions one of 96 so I haven't seen two of the same pulled, but we'll see and check it out now exactly what we get. But we'll leave the tournament packs for last. We'll leave the EX cards for second. Let's go over uh, the, the battle cards. Let's go over what we got here. So it brings three copies of every card in here. So you can actually, well, that's your play set. So that's your master set. The cards that you pull in this expansion in NBO2, you won't be able to get an NBO1 from what I uh, am under the assumption of. So we'll check now for the first time and see if that's actually true. But let's go through it. This looks like it's, uh, this is blue so far. So we got blue uh, cards coming out first. We got Sugetsu, we got Shino, we got Jugo. Is that how you pronounce it? Did you go? We got Eno. Who Eno is pretty unique ability actually. That whole action thing is pretty cool. We got Kiba, unfortunately a vanilla, but we only got two copies. Hmm. If, if there's only two copies, that leads me to believe that the third copy is probably in the other expansion. But we'll see. Because playsets in this game are three. So two Sasuke's. Three Shikamaru's. Three, Karin, Karin, Karin. These white border ones are the action cards, by the way, guys. These aren't battlers, but uh, three Hinata, Hinata. Three Rockleys. Oh, so it looks like the second color is purple. So this first, uh, this Naruto set, I mean this Baruto one, uh, NBO two, looks like it's a blue purple deck. Three Conan. Three ten ten. Three Sakura. I'm sorry for going so slow, guys. I just want to give you a moment to read all the cards. I know all the spoilers are probably not out yet. So you can take a look and see what you like. Three Jiraiya. Three Naruto Uzumaki. Two Pain. Two Itachis. Ooh, one of my favorite cards actually. Neji. Very good card. You get a nifty little time card. So if you don't have the if you're not playing on a playmat that has the actual time gauge, uh, this is another way of keeping time for each player. So you'll have a player one card and you can I, I believe you get a, a player two card in here as well. Uh, that way, if your opponent doesn't have the gauge or you don't have any way of uh, tracking it, there's a way of doing it just through a card. And they'll probably have promo versions of these as the game continues to grow. But uh, Okay, look, so 
so this is our third color now so the first deck was a uh, a uh, blue purple and it looks like uh, if I if I was guessing this is probably gonna be red green so each expansion will give you all four different colors I believe and then the other expansion will give you the other half of those colors assuming no overlap but we'll see for ourselves right now so we got Chocho is number one Sai is number two Enojin Mitsuki Sarada Konohamaru Sasuke Two Sakuras Two Kakashis Three Shikadai Shikadai Three Kinshi Three Shikamarus Three Naruto's Three Shinos Two Momoshiki Two Boruto Three Team Seven Three Sakura and Sakara Sarada Sorry there's a player two card that we were talking about, so you got a player one card and a player two card. So one deck, one uh, expansion box will be enough for you and your buddy to fight uh, and actually build decks. The only problem is you're going to be limited to the colors that you play. You're pretty pretty much only going to be able to play those specific like green cards or, or like if you want to build a green purple, you can only play from these green purple cards. But if you bought both expansions, then you have access to two times the amount of green and purple cards, so you can customize your deck better. But if you only buy one expansion, you can only pretty much build, like, you only have a limited card pool, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, and look, just like we said, uh, there's that third Kiba. There's that third Sasuke. There's that third Pain. That's three cards in the side deck. Four card, fourth card in the side deck. Fifth card in the side deck. Sixth card in the side deck. Seventh card in the side deck. And eighth card in the side deck. Yep, so you have a eight-card side deck. And those cards are pretty much made out of uh, the, the missing third copy from the main deck. So, like I said, this is customizable. You don't have to put these cards really in your side deck. They just came in the side deck. But you can customize your deck as long as there's no more, no less than 50 cards. And then your side deck can be 8 cards. And you can play this as a best of 3 or a best of 1 with your buddies. You could even play up to 4 players. So, very, very fun. That's it for the Baruto expansion with the battle cards. Let's look into... Let's look into the EX cards now. So these are the oversized cards. So as you can see here, oh wow, it fits perfectly on screen. As you can see here, this is obviously Betty Betty Big. Not as big as me, but I'm a giant. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but um, yeah, so it's about two times the size. If you if you're wondering about the dimensions, a lot of people online are really really asking like hey what size uh, sleeve fits this it's about two standard size cards so if you put a Naruto and a Sugetsu here it covers the whole amount of area so you just take a normal standard size card and multiply it times two a really cool thing that you can do is if you have side loaders like the side loading um, sleeves you can actually fit this into two side loading sleeves if you like uh, or uh, my personal favorite and suggestion is to uh, put them in a top loader. So the top loader, it looks something like this. Voila! So this is how it looks like with, uh, in the top loader. Of course, it's not a perfect fit, but this is probably going to be better if you're expecting to play in tournaments. Um, if you use that whole side loader idea that I told you, it probably won't come out very well because these are supposed to be shuffled remember so the back has to look the same so if you put side loaders sometimes they'll come apart and then you can tell it could be like mark cards if anything if you want something safer definitely invest into the top loaders uh, you can contact pro play games we sell them for about 50 cents or so plus shipping and you can sleeve up your whole extra deck this is what i've been using for the past month or so that i've had the game but um yeah anyways the ex cards very large some people like them some people hate them now there is an alternative to these the alternative is that you play the game very regularly uh, by playing the game very regularly you get the regular size promo cards they're also full art so you'll be this whole text box will be gone you'll only see the symbols and um, 
Dolby foil. So what more can you like? And regular size. So regular size, foil, full art, amazing. They look beautiful. We'll see them in these promo packs if we're lucky enough to pull them at the end of this video. Um, by the way, we are gonna be giving a uh, giving out some of these promo packs for free. So please just like and comment down below to be entered into the raffle and then we're, we'll be giving uh, let's say five of them. We'll give out five of them free. Uh, we do have uh, a few spare that we've opened from uh, You know some some of our employees all these guys have been really wanting to play the game and they don't really care for the promo So uh, that actually works out in your favor. So thank you guys again for watching Hopefully you guys are very invested into this game like we are going to be supporting it from ba another Bandai game of course uh, We love these IPs the mats look out uh, look great and the game plays very very fun. So so for the full art cards, these are the EX cards. So these are the ones that, uh, of course, if you want to learn more about how to play the game, please just check our how to play video. But for now, I'm just going to be profiling exactly what's in here. So we got the, the blue cards. So you're going to get all four different color EXs. It looks like we got uh, three different EXs for green. Now your EX deck can be six cards. Uh, six cards minimum, I believe. I don't think there's a maximum. I could be wrong. Let me know. Those are our three purple cards, purple EX cards. Here come our three red EX cards. These guys are huge. <laughs> they they do fit in your hand though. If you like, if you actually, you just can't hand shuffle with them in your hand. So, because there's cards in this game that make you draw them, uh, you can have have one in your hand and it looks really. <laughs> Here, let me show you. You see? So it's possible, you know? It doesn't look too bad. But, uh... But yeah, very funny. Uh, that That's it. That, those are all the EX cards for this deck. So you have every color EX, and you only have three colors of that EX. So if you're, like, green, you have to play... Like, you only have options of these. Um, the thing is, in this deck, you can, uh, in this game, you can have... Your whole extra deck can be all green if you wanted to. But because you only bought one expansion, you'll only have these three EXs. If you bought both expansions, then you can buy... Then you can play all three of these green ones and the green ones that come in the other expansion. And your whole EX deck can be green if you really wanted to. But <clears throat> as long as your EX deck matches the color identity of your actual deck then there's no problem. You don't have to play an even ratio or whatever. It could be five green cards, one purple card. So without further ado, let's get to the almighty tournament packs. These are the money in the game. So a lot of you are watching. It's like, why would I play this game? I can't make any money off of it. Well, you can win tournaments. And then by winning tournaments, you get these tournament packs. And these tournament packs have very, very wanted and sought over cards. Some of these you're going to see go for $50 or more as the game progresses and these are one card packs so i'm going to open it very carefully here on stream for you and not try to mess it up see what we can get here Alrighty, we got the almighty pack let's see what we can pull guys oh what what let's let's put that in frame guys i'm sorry Holy cow. That is a great pull. We got Haku. Wow, look at that. She's even got mirrors up here on top of the card. That is ridiculous. But yeah, you can see symbols are still going to be on the card, so you know exactly what they do. Obviously, the strength and all that stuff. I wish actually that they would have removed this bottom border, but wow. Incredible. And, and I'll put it next to a regular looking card at the end of it, too. So once we pull it in the other expansion that way you can see the difference but let's see what we get out of our second turn pack here Man, these things are hard to open i'm not gonna lie Alrighty. Yeah. let's see what we can get oh wants to get out all right let's see what it is well, it's not an EX, by the way, because the EX cards have a uh, a blue background. So this would have been blue. So unfortunately, not an EX. But ooh, Sakura! All right, cool. Sakura's good. It's not like a super staple or anything like that, but it's definitely used in one of the top decks that we're actually practicing with right now. So 
Um, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now remember, it's two per expansion. Another reason why you should get both expansions because you can actually collect as many tournament packs as possible. And these are going to be really hard to get, guys. Uh, let's go on to the second one. All right, guys, we got expansion number one. This is Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. So this is actually the one that just has Naruto stuff, no Boruto stuff at all, if you don't like Boruto for some reason. Uh, so you got your 100 plus cards, you got your two tournament packs, and you got your 12 EXs here. So we're gonna go over in the same exact order here. We're gonna go with the cards first, and like I promised you guys, Look at that. Look at those two cards. Tell me you don't want to foil out, foil out your deck. Tell me that you don't want to foil out and full out your deck. Look at this. Can you even see the shine on this? Not really, but the shine is incredible, guys. Incredible. They did a really good job with these promo cards. So I stand by my point that these full arts are a must-have for any real Naruto fan. 100%. So we got three Hakus. Yes, that's a guy. Peter. We got three Hinata, three Tenten, three Gara. God, he's so good. Three Naruto Uzumaki, three Zabuza, three Nejis, two Shikamarus, two Kakashis, three Sakura, three Kibo. Three Tamari, three Ino, four Shino. I feel like they did that on purpose, put them on the same team and everything. Did they? No, they're on different teams. I'm sorry. Three Chojis. I'm rewatching Naruto, that's the only way I remember. Uh, three Rock Lees, two Kankudo, two Sasuke. You got another time card here. Of course, each one of these will bring the time card. Next color combination we have is red. Three Tsunades. Three Orochimaru. Three Sai. Three Gara. Man, I, I love that art. Three Naruto. Two Sasuke. Two My Guy. Three Sakura. Three Yamato, that card's broken, I'm busted. Three Kabuto. Three Granny Chiyo. Chiyo. I love Kasami, that's a personal favorite. Three Kakuzu. Three Hidon. Three Zetsu. Three Tobi. Two Deidara. Two Hiruku Hiru Hiruku Hiru Player two Timestamp card and then your one ofs for the sideboard. You saw these already. These are the third copies of the cards from the deck. And number eight. Alrighty. So that does it for that deck. Let's go over to the EXs now. Let's see what we got here. We got Gata, Naruto, and the Nine Tailed Fox Spirit. Gamabunta? I think so. Shikaku, Shukaku, Shukaku. Sasuke Uchiha. Nice. Curse, curse mark form, I guess. Nine Tails Cloak. Fourth tail. I wish they would have uh, printed all the tails. I don't think there's like some of the uh, tailed beasts in here. Garuda. I didn't see the octopus guy. I don't know what his name is, but Katsuya. Sasori. Dude, my favorite EX for sure. Deidara. He's a eh, second favorite. Yeah, because Deidara is definitely my favorite. And then last one is Manda. Orochimaru's beast. So. That pretty much does it for all the card spoils. You know exactly what comes in each expansion set now. Um, now, only thing that's left is the last two tournament packs. Let's see what we pull.
but this is I'm already excited because I, I I spent what you spent like seventy dollars because they're thirty five dollars each expansion and you get a master set so there's no secret rares there's no hidden fees there's no short prints none of that stuff where you see in uh, Yu Gi Oh and all these other games where you know you get short printed and you have to spend like so many so much money on cases and all that stuff here there's no tips and tricks it's just you buy two you get a master set you do it every three months and you're always you always have the cards that the other person has except for the foils these are the money i'm not gonna lie and boom eno nice not too bad not too nice not too bad i, I personally like this card because it makes your action cards cost one less which is i think really good it also depends on what they come out like in, in further expansions and stuff like that. Maybe they get more broken action cards or whatever the case is, but Ah. I always feel like I'm gonna like break one of these cards. Ah, no EX guys. F in the chat. Let's see if we got a saucy one though. Ooh, we got Sasuke. Sasuke Uchiha, that's our uh, that's our little um, that's our that's our load. So we got everything we wanted. We got four tournament packs. We got um, around like if each one had about 100 cards, so you, it's about 200 cards. So as you can see here, these all these cards fit in this box, nifty little box. The EX cards even too. Uh, in this limited edition, uh, let me see if I can close it up here for you. Look at that. It's a very nice box. Closes right up, and boom. Very nice box. You can see here. You can only get these, I believe, if you buy it from your local game store. So if you got it from Target, I'm sorry guys. Rest in peace. But you cannot get this. This is only from local game stores. If you buy, only if you buy um, one of each, actually. So you can't get this unless you order one of each. And I believe you still get it online. We're still shipping them out online. But uh, it's, it's very, very nice. It's a nice little box. I'm glad they put they gave us some type of storage to bring these to, to put these EX cards in. So definitely check it out. Remember, it's only if you buy one of each. Uh, check out ProPlayGames.com. We're going to be supporting this game on the organized play front. Our first organized play event is right over here. Boop boop boop. It's Pro Play Tour Richmond. It's going to be July 14th. It's going to be on a Sunday. So if you play Dragon Ball Super, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, if you play Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, you have something to do on Sunday now. You can demo the game with the game designer. Ryan Miller will be in attendance. We're going to be having a tournament where you get a free exclusive playmat for playing. By the way, the playmats for this game are insane and incredible. We'll probably profile them in another video. But like I said, please leave a comment down below uh, and like this video to be entered into our raffle for some foil goodies. Look at this. Foil goodies that you can't see really. Oh. So, thank you guys again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Please subscribe for more Naruto Burrito action. We have a lot of content recording and ready to be posted. So, thank you guys again for your love and support. Till next time.